In this video we are going to talk about top 5 ways to become successful. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. What do we mean when we say success? There are numerous strategies for achieving success in life, but the one that works best for you may be determined by your definition of success. We frequently associate it with performing well at work or earning a large pay. While professional achievements are a significant part of life, they are only one piece of the picture. People might aim for success in a variety of areas, including family, love relationships, academics, and athletics. Your personal definition of success may differ, but many people consider themselves successful if they are fulfilled, happy, safe, healthy, and loved. It is the ability to achieve your life's objectives, whatever they may be. So, how can you improve your odds of accomplishing these goals? There is no one-size-fits-all approach to success. It's possible that what works for you won't work for someone else. There may not be a perfect recipe for success, but there are certain basic actions you can take to increase your chances of success in life, love, job, or whatever else is important to you. Number 5. Focus on intrinsic motivations. What is it about you that inspires you the most? Extrinsic benefits such as money, honors, and recognition can be motivating, but many people find that doing things for personal gratification motivates them the most. If you are motivated by intrinsic motives, you are doing things because you enjoy them, find them significant, or enjoy seeing the results of your work. While incentives can be a stronger predictor of specific types of performance, research has shown that intrinsic motivators are superior at predicting performance quality. While external motivators are frequently used to get individuals started, it is the internal motivators that kick in and keep people going in order to maintain new behaviors. What are some things you may do to increase your sense of intrinsic motivation? Put yourself to the test. Having a goal that is attainable but not easy to achieve is a wonderful strategy to boost your motivation to succeed. Challenges may keep you engaged in a task, boost your confidence, and provide feedback on areas where you can improve. Choosing a slightly difficult assignment will encourage you to get started, it feels thrilling. Keep your curiosity piqued. Look for topics that pique your interest and about which you'd like to learn more. Take command. If you don't believe you have any real control over the outcome, it can be tough to stay intrinsically motivated to pursue a goal. Look for methods to participate in a more active way. Do not be afraid of competition. There may be others attempting to achieve the same objectives as you, but that does not mean you should give up. Don't measure your development or journey against that of others. You can get encouragement and inspiration from others, but keep in mind that everyone's journey is different. Number 4. Strengthen your willpower. Psychologists studied a group of children who were labeled as very brilliant by their instructors in a long-term longitudinal study. Researchers discovered that those who were eventually the most successful in life shared some essential characteristics, such as tenacity and willpower as they compared how these people fared throughout childhood and into maturity. These traits are often a part of a person's general personality, but they are also something you can work on. Delayed gratification, learning to persevere in the face of obstacles, and waiting for the fruits of your labor can all be important aspects of life success. You can enhance your willpower by using the following strategies. Distraction. If you're attempting to lose weight but are having trouble staying away from your favorite snacks, for example, Diverting yourself during times of weakness can help you avoid succumbing to temptation. Practice. Willpower can be developed, but it requires time and work. Begin by setting minor goals, such as avoiding sugary snacks, that will require willpower to attain. As your capacity to employ willpower to achieve minor goals improves, you may discover that your willpower is also stronger when working on larger tasks. Number 3. Developmental Toughness. Mental toughness is defined as the ability to maintain one's composure and persevere in the face of adversity. People who have this kind of mental fortitude see obstacles as opportunities to grow. Aside from this, they believe that they have control over their own fate, are confident in their talents to succeed, and are dedicated to seeing their projects through to completion. What can you do to develop your mental toughness and raise your chances of being successful in life? Have confidence in yourself. Remove negative self-talk from your life and look for ways to be optimistic and self-encouraged instead. Continue to try. Even when things appear difficult or setbacks continue to hold you back, keep your attention focused on methods to improve your abilities and keep moving forward with your life. 
One of the most important habits of successful people is to constantly see setbacks or mistakes as opportunities to learn from them. Make a list of your objectives. Mentally tough people understand that in order to reach their objectives, they must first set attainable objectives. These objectives are not always simple to achieve, but by setting goals for yourself, you will be better able to move forward and overcome difficulties. Look for assistance. Although it can be challenging to do things on one's own, having a solid support system can make things a whole lot easier. When things get tough, mentors, friends, co-workers, and family members can encourage you and even provide advice and assistance that can help you boost your chances of success. Number 2. Improve your emotional intelligence. Overall intelligence has long been thought to be a key in achieving success in various aspects of life, but some experts believe emotional intelligence may be even more important. The ability to understand, use, and reason with emotions is referred to as emotional intelligence. People that are emotionally intelligent are able to understand not only their own feelings, but also the emotions of others. To develop your emotional intelligence, do the following, pay attention to how you feel. Concentrate on identifying what you're feeling and what's causing it. Control your feelings. Take a step back and attempt to see things objectively. Instead of bottling up or ignoring your emotions, search for healthy and appropriate ways to deal with them. Pay attention to what others are saying. This entails not only listening to what they're saying, but also observing nonverbal cues and body language. Number 1. Build a Growth Mindset According to psychologist Carol Dweck's research, people have two primary mindsets that determine how they think about themselves and their abilities, fixed and development mindsets. People with a fixed mindset feel that things like intelligence are unchangeable and static. Those with a fixed mindset feel that success is the result of natural abilities rather than hard work. They are more likely to give up in the face of a problem because they believe that such abilities are something that people are either born with or without. They give up when things are difficult because they believe they lack the inborn ability to succeed. Those with a growth mindset, on the other hand, believe that with effort, they can change, grow, and learn. People who believe they have the ability to grow are more likely to succeed. They look for methods to better their talents and keep pushing towards success when things get challenging. People who have a growth mindset believe they have control over their lives, whilst those who have a fixed mindset believe they don't. What steps can you take to cultivate a growth mindset? Believe that your efforts are worthwhile. People with a growth mindset believe that effort and hard work can lead to genuine growth rather than thinking their abilities are fixed or stagnant. Acquire new abilities. When confronted with a difficulty, they seek for opportunities to expand their knowledge and skills in order to overcome and triumph. Failures should be viewed as opportunities for growth. Growth mindset individuals do not believe that failure is a reflection of their talents. Instead, they see it as a great source of knowledge and experience from which they may grow. That didn't work, they could reason, so I'll try something else this time. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.